Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do um, a quick spread about uh, either the soulmate, uh, the person that you're coming to this reading for. I know that Aquarius has or is uh, entangled with a, the air and the water dynamic seems to be pretty popular. Um, not the best dynamic, but it, it seems like it is um, very popular. Um, lots of love triangles, not just for the Aquarius, but for every sign. Um, if you just need answers, or you just, you, I don't know, you just kept feeling kind of lost in it, lost with it. Uh, let's see what the cards say, okay? So, let's start with how... Um, your person that you've come to the reading for how they feel about you in whatever dynamic whether it's a third party six of swords so they feel like you're making a choice to have peace more peace more calm in your life you're on, on the path towards um, finding balance just small achievements over what used to be burdensome for you they feel like you're focused uh, you're moving forward your mind is focused you're focused your actions uh, directly relate to how you're thinking yeah what's this person feel about Okay. The Hierophant. Yeah, they feel like you're very disciplined. Um, you have come under some some leadership, some rules, some reign. You have harnessed all that energy. And now you're focusing it and shifting. They, they feel as if you're really trying to get into some long-term situation. Where they feel as if you are ready to be married. Like you're moving towards wanting to be in commitment. Um, they feel like you don't want all the drama. Right, Ace of Pentacles. They feel as if you're ready for commitment. Like you're no nonsense right now in regards to relationship, um, who you spend your time with, wh where you put all your energy and effort. They feel like they could start something foundational with you. They want the the opportunity. Aces are the opportunity to start to build. It's the one card, the Ace of Pentacles. So it's about building. They feel like you're ready for engagement. Engagement in two. They feel like you have ascended to. Some some of them feel like you're like um spiritual guru that you give really good advice that your choices are based in not only you know rule and regimen that you have created for yourself but spirituality and strategic thinking hmm. how does this person feel about Aquarius, Princess of Pentacles, wow. They feel as if you're doing a lot of foundational work for yourself. The Princess of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles says, I, myself, or himself, um, herself here. Uh, 
Yeah, they feel like you have done so much work on yourself. Or you're trying to work towards a goal. You're taking a lot of energy and effort and putting it into some specific goal. The start of a new business, the sale of a business. Princess of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel as if... Um, For some of you, they feel as if you are saying maybe in regards to career and finance that your stability is elsewhere. You, you, you know, I have to, I should. You also could be learning something, going back to school, some type of type of scholarly type energy here. They feel like you're well learned and, or well versed in whatever it is you do. And it could have some spiritual basis to it. How does this person feel about the Aquarius? Seven of Swords. Okay. They feel like you have a secret plan. You're not letting it, anyone in on this. You're very focused, goal-oriented on work or business, career. They feel as if you have planned to reduce, relieve burden. Maybe even cut out some friendships or some some ship ships, you know, some situation ships and casual ships. But you, you're trying to cut all of that out so that you can remain Six of Swords focused on moving forward on uh, peace, tranquility in regards to hmm. Your person can feel like you're trying to get whatever you can get out of a particular relationship, business contract, marriage, something somebody might be selling something. Either real estate, either a business, purchasing a business. You're trying to um have strategic plan in doing so. That's hmm. they feel like you're money your money based right now in regards to you know life all you can really focus on is the tangible that is where your focus is Yeah, you could be dealing with, they just see you, they just see goodness coming in for you. They see an upward lateral move. They see, oh, um, some of you could be buying a new car, making a large purchase, selling something, buying something, something of that nature. They see very pentacle, tangible oriented. They see that beneficial change is coming for you. That you are just trying to remain in control of what at one time may have seemed out of control. Hmm. How does Aquarius view their person. Now this is going to get interesting, right? Yeah, Aquarius, they don't even really see you like super focused on love. There are no cups here. Um, they just see you focused on positive progression forward. Like you can't see anything but the dollar signs, you know. 
Uh, let's see. There could have been significant change in your life, in your world. And you're just trying to maintain. Okay. okay. How does Aquarius... How does Aquarius view the person that came to the reading for his soulmate, the twin flame, the uh, what is it, divine masculine, divine feminine? I mean, you guys get into. I don't really subscribe to all of that. I mean, I know that it exists and that it is real, but I cannot keep up. This is how you view your person. Hmm. Got the Queen of Water, the King of Air, the Ten of Air, the Queen of Fire, and the Empress. Like I said, some of y'all in third and four party situations. Okay, so how you view your person is. You, you view them as, this could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could be an air sign like yourself. Could be a Libra, Virgo, Taurus. You view your person as wanting and actively pursuing you in a romantic sense wanting to offer their cup of love to you falling in love with you maybe even eventually proposing to you because they see you ready for marriage um but not before right not before an ending happens maybe with someone that they've been with 10 or more years someone that they have children with someone um, that has been very patient very um, willing very accepting hmm. But now they're getting, how you view them is that they're getting very clear on the fact that something has to end. This difficult situation that they put you in, that they put themselves in, it has to end. A change is here. They have to expect it in order to have the woman that they put on a pedestal, which is you or who is you. You either seeing them getting really clear about an ending or you have demanded that they get very clear about something ending. You also see your person as able and capable of giving you a very lavish and abundant life. Maybe the both of you are at a place where you know money is not an issue. The tangible of life is um, very abundant for the both of you or maybe it you know your person is very uh, fruitful so to say um, so to speak uh, your person could do really skilled work like he has a really good he or she has a really good reputation the do they do something that they went to university, post-university, graduate, this, that. They do something that they have done a lot of schooling in, a lot of uh, education. It also takes an amount of skill. It's not um, something that everyone can readily do. Um... Uh,
you see your person is is finally allowing the ending the culmination of let's see you're pretty clear they're clear let's see what is the hold up what's the energy between Aquarius and this person the three of clubs regret and resentment the need for someone to make the choice to move on to do what they need to do in regards to making uh, right choice getting over fear and doubt about or re or directly regarding the Aquarius. What rests between you two is a su success in home and marriage. If you two get there. But there is someone hesitating before making any significant uh, change. King of Diamonds. Because this person is, that you could be dealing with a very wealthy person or someone who has amassed a lot of, uh, or accumulated a lot of pentacle in this life. <laughs> um, they have a lot to think about, to divide, to take steps in order to make something come to culmination an ending come to culmination they also could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus what lies between you two seven of yeah like someone needs to release the burden your person may be immersed in obligation the king of you see the king of diamonds a lot of times he's the man that took the vows knew what he was signing up for fast forward later in life is super unhappy unfulfilled discontent bored relationship is on death's door but he keeps hanging in there he just keeps doing what he or she signed up for um, paying the bills going to the recital with the parent the other parent taking a vacation your know, family vacation but still being unfulfilled maybe even not even sleeping in the same bed with the partner um, they just do. It's a dutiful relationship. Like I'm just living up to my duties. This person needs to release the burden. Release what is burdensome. Maybe even a friendship or friends or family or, or something. This person needs to make a plan, needs to be strategic in whatever it is they, they plan to do or what they want to do. There needs to be a plan in place. But the energy between you two is King of Swords. Someone just needs to, maybe even someone needs to visit lawyer skilled person, some diplomat, someone who's in the middle and who's impartial. Maybe even to get advice in regards to this family, wow, family dynamic. Because they clearly want to start something new with the Queen of Swords. Wow. 
Wow, because they feel like it is. It will be a successful relationship. Let's see what's going on in a person's life. What is this person dealing with? Well, let's go back to Aquarius. Let's see if they have any plans. What's the plan in order for them dealing with you? What are the intentions of the person that Aquarius has come to the reading for? What are the intentions? What are the intentions? The Ace of Cups. Wow, the Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but this is directly related to King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're in love with you. They, they see that new love, something really foundational could really happen with you, or has happened with you. That you guys have that yin and yang, the perfect marrying of Feminine energy, masculine energy. When you come together, this is this is perfection. This is their idea of perfection. What right then the Queen of Pentacles? That is the quintessential ideal wife. Uh, she cares about her body, what she eats, what she puts on her body, what she puts in. Uh, she works out. She cares about her appearance, the home, the children. She's good with money. Um, she's good with making money. She's normally the the working mother. Hmm. What are the intentions? What is the intention? What are the intentions? The intentions for five or so. They may, some of them feel like they may miss an opportunity or that they'll have to fight for your affection. They feel like you have a wall up. But what are, why is that their intention? They, yeah. Their intention is to Oh. Their intention is to fight to release this burden that they've been carrying willingly. Wow, that is maybe a marriage or a commitment. Or they want to release the love affair. They want to come out in the open. They want to stop hiding. They want to have romance with you, real romance. So they want to, and they're going to fight for this. The intention is to have all of this with you, but not before they have to do some type of battle. Verbal battle. They're, they're going to have to face, like, you know, maybe the other person person slandering them, rumors, outright lies. Uh, there is, but they're willing to fight for it. And, and, and also, they're willing to fight and release it and be done with it because it's, there is drama. Hmm. What does the Aquarius want from their partner? It looks like someone's really trying to get it together. They understand the dynamic. It's really clear to them now. What the relationship is, what it means, and they understand what they have to do now. They have been looking for maybe you, this relationship for a very long time. If this is someone you have history with, 
they finally understand what it is you mean to them. What the Aquarius wants is for this person to stop suppressing the feelings that they have. The Aquarius wants this person to have a plan in place so that they can come out of the fear of commitment, the fear of committing to them. Right. This Aquarius wants this person to allow the death of, because there will be rebirth in this death. The Aquarius wants this person to understand that this can be a very fruitful relationship. We can grow this. The Aquarius wants this person to know that they're not going to do anything in order to get in between said individual, the other person, of making the necessary changes. So the, the Aquarius wants this person to know that they're not coming to your house and knocking on the door and telling the wife or the husband that, hey, I'm the other person. They're not playing the games. They want this person to stand up, be the king of swords, and make the right and just fair decision. Be fair. Be, be equal. Be have some type of integrity and, and dignity about the decision in regards to everyone involved. The Aquarius wants the death of, of a hidden, a repressed relationship. But the Aquarius, an Aquarius knows that this person isn't going anywhere and they'll be back and that the relationship will turn into something so much more. But the Aquarius is not helping them do that. This is this will be a task all their own. The Aquarius wants this person to know, yeah, you need to release this burden. Stop trying to sneak away from it, but plan and pre-plan. The revision of whatever plan you thought you had of maybe someone wants to get caught in the act so then it can play out like oh you caught me cheating with the Aquarius now we can get a divorce no stand up and be man enough be woman enough to the person that you've made commitment with the Aquarius wants this person to stop sneaking around the Aquarius wants this relationship to completely shift this is not a relationship where we're going to sneak around and we're going to... This is not a relationship where you're just going to take what you can get. Or or that I'm going to give what, give my all and you just take. That you leave the commitment that you have established to come over here and get all my goodies. And then you run back. There'd be no more mental games. The Aquarius wants this person to know that there's that there's none of that. Okay. The Aquarius wants this person to know that. Oh, that um so maybe in the separation of of this because some of you are not actively seeing each other in the separation the Aquarius is manifesting and wishing hoping and praying for their wish fulfillment which could be this particular person maybe Cancer Pisces Scorpio I don't know um, but you see how he he's wishing but he's sitting he's not moving he's not doing he's not acting the Aquarius wants this person to know that once again, the high priestess is, is the is the woman or the man, but it's just feminine energy. Um, the Aquarius wants this person to know that yes, I will give you all of the best feminine uh, advice that I can give you. I have also even taken some for myself, um, but I'm not doing anything to move this forward. If you want this relationship 
on the terms that I wanted, says the Aquarius, then you need to make significant change. You need to allow for an ending. You need to allow for what you thought at one time was valuable, that you need to allow for it to, to leave your life. The loss of what you thought was valuable here. Hmm. Right, the Aquarius says, I'm going to get my happy ending, whether it's with you or not with you. Because I'm manifesting, I'm doing everything I need to do. I'm not running around town trying to see where you are and doing all that. I can't. I cannot. Wow, the Aquarius says that I made peace with either the connection is with you or someone else the query says i want family i want fulfillment i want happiness and contentment and the only way to get that is to make peace with the fact that i do not control any of this i control me and i have made peace I've made the choice to have peace in my mental in my physical in my emotions in every aspect of my life I'm, I'm not wow for once the Aquarius wants this person to know we could we could have everything we could have a really good life but I'm not force in anything. I've done that before. And look where it got me. In a third party situation. That where I didn't get what I wanted. I just got a whole bunch of drama. Let's see. What is your person dealing with? Aquarius dealing with it. Nice. Nice. Okay. Alright, so let's see how it looks for the Aquarius and this person. After all the dust settles, and they choose to be together. How does it look for the Aquarius in their person? What's the aftermath? What's the afterlife of all the drama? Okay, so meet me on the other side, guys. We're going to talk about the cards that your person got in the Butterfly Oracle deck. Really, revelation. And then the, we're going to talk about the, the cards that the Aquarius got. And then how it looks. If you guys can pull this energy together, it will really, if the other person can get it together and make significant change. Because it looks like the Aquarius has done so. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity, especially if you're going through a situation. Do know to pull your own energy, just like this spread. Um, you can get a 20-minute video recorded reading. It's on a special price, $25. Okay, links are below. Take care, guys. Bye.